Welcome to my channel Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang and I'm Wolfgang and in this video my gift to you is this cord cutting video after a painful uh, breakup. And let's face it, you know, some of the best times in our life is when we are in love or you know the situations from a loving relationship. And then, of course, on the other side, um, the worst times in our life uh, are when, you know, this ends, you know, when there is a breakup. Um, definitely, I can attest from my own life experience, you know, the higher I flew in my love and in my so-called euphoria of love, you know, the deeper I fell like the pendulum effect, <laughs> you know, in my suffering when there was um, separation. Um, you may explain this with adrenal exhaustion or other things, you know, the uh, pendulum swing of transurfing. Um, yet, you know, cord cutting is supposed to help in such a situation. So, why is there this pain and, you know, what is about cord cutting? So, in this coming guided meditation, we shall go over these points and um, find out, um, you know, how you are personally affected by those different points. So, first of all, you know, what happens when we fall in love? Well, you know, our brains get flushed with all kinds of our whole body, with hormones, and we are in a high vibration, and we are definitely at our best behavior. If we dress our best. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, at high energy levels, you know, our posture is better. You know, we get stuff done. Uh, you know, life is, you know, and because we are smiling, <laughs> We have a positive outlook on life, and people respond, you know, to us. And um, we are more harmonious in our being, you know, you are balanced then. And when you with the other gender, you know, there is an exchange of energies, and that creates greater balance. So your face is more balanced. And so you start uh, looking better. I would say on the scale from 1 to 10, if you are seven and you are in love, you might um, look like a nine. I think there's like a two point increase this can happen. You know, when, you, when you're in love and of course other people get attracted to you at this time too. <laughs> and uh, you are kind of more your true self, you know, the one that you always wanted to be and that maybe sometimes came out. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> when you try you know, to uh, come on or to impress somebody, you know, then you come across like a creep, but when you kind of, with an open heart and innocent, you know, then your true self comes up. So this also happens when you are in love. And of course, there seems to be this glow and this radiance, you know, around you and um, especially around your heart. A warm, you know, sweet uh, glow um, when you think about the other or when you're with the other. You know, um, the glow can go all the way up to here. That's a very spiritual love. And then, you know, more further, you know, down where the real heart is. That's a more, um, you know, human love, you could say. <laughs> and, um... Of course, you know, you think of the other one um, all the time and uh, be aware that, you know, when you think of them, they think of you too, most likely, or, you know, especially when we get telepathic. And, well, often, you know, we, you know, get into wishful thinking, then, you know, creating a possible future scenarios in your mind. You like, you know, ah, oh, you know, when I'm with the other one, I'm going to be stargazing with that person on the beach. 
you're going to be dancing and so you know doing all those things that you see in one of those commercials <laughs> from the pharmaceutical industry you know this lineup of an activity and you know all the way up to Kama Sutra post 27 and how many kids you're gonna have uh, you name it of course here you're creating a desire body you know um, the desire body that's kind of a Buddhist or you know Hindu term um, you can also call it a bucket list <laughs> that you like to get fulfilled then of course you know desires lead to suffering you know, the old buddhist philosophy or yogic philosophy actually all the renunciants you know that's um, you know because when you desire something you know you hanker for it you strive for it all the time and um, when you don't get it you lament you know, oh, could have, would have, should have, it would have been so nice. And, you know, you are in sorrow. And when you achieve it, there is a short term of satisfaction and then you get used to it. Right? I mean, once you get that nice, you know, new Mercedes, that's fine. But then after some time, you get used to it. It's not a thrill anymore. And then you up for the next thing. <laughs> And if we do this in relationships, and you know, thinking of all those scenes, <laughs> um, you know, this would be projection, you know, or unspoken expectation. You know, maybe she doesn't like heavy metal. <laughs> you know, maybe he is a vegetarian and doesn't like to pick out at the barbecue. You know? And then we... Uh, you know, somehow others, sooner or later, they will probably stray off that narrow path that we have lined out for him. You know, and then we have failed expectation. <laughs> Another thing is, of course, um, you know, when we're freshly in love, we uh, do not see the dark side, you know, of the other initially. You know, just the glitz and glory, and of course, they're also on their best behavior. And if we see something, then, um, you know, we think we can overcome this in the relationship. <laughs> you know, the um, the good sex and the fun we're having, you know, um, this can all, you know, compensate, you know, for whatever little problems there are. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, but, um, and then this sex, well, you know, this is where the really strong attachments are formed. Um, generally, you know, attachments or cords, you know, and we're talking about cord cutting here in this video, you know, they're formed in emotionally strongly charged situation. So, I mean, even if a bully, you know, beats you to one inch of your life, uh, you are corded with that person. You will never forget it. And, you know, it's somehow their energy still affects you. <clears throat> and same, of course, with rape. Mm -hmm. These people, you get caught in this. And, uh, you know, there is an access to your energies through this. Um, so, um, but of course, also in good situation. You know, the according happens. And, um, you know, then there is a deeper relationship there. Um, so we are accorded to our lovers as well as to our haters. <laughs> and, um, you know, for instance, um, you know, when you get raped, it, um, you know, this it does not only affect your lower chakras, you know, and your sexual energies, but probably also your solar plexus, you know, even your feeling of powerlessness and your heart, you know, which is more or less a broken heart and maybe even your throat you know when you got silenced or shamed or strangled or you could not express your terror or horror or pain yeah you know um this is how chords are being formed in strong and emotional relationships so what happens um, after a breakup and 
why does it hurt so bad? Well, first of all, you know, when you get flooded with loving chi, that's like a drug. You know, it uh, makes you, it gives you this high. It makes you uh, manifest the better in you. And when you're suddenly um, on withdrawal from this and don't get this anymore, um, you know, there are withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> and there are withdrawal symptoms. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Where uh, you know you are missing this this feel good drug of love. Of course, um, you know rejection also never feels good. You know, so your whole ego is in a crisis. And not just only this. You know, we have to. You know, the ego crisis. You know, am I not good enough? And I mean, this is obviously not the first time. You know, where you got rejected, where you got the bad grade and felt bad, or where you got not picked for the team and felt bad, you know, or, um, you know, wherever you got rejected at the dance or dumped again. So, you know, this uns that pain from this old situation, you know, kind of comes into. So, old pain is triggered on top of the new pain. And of course, many times, um, you know, the pain from past lifetimes also comes in. And this can be quite an unexpected doozy. You know, it can really affect you, hit you like a ton of bricks, where in this lifetime, you may not even much of a reason for having pain around rejection. But maybe in a past lifetime, there was a lot of it. And with a slight rejection, suddenly your whole world turns upside down. So this is something, you know, to be looked at and we shall be looking at. And of course, you know, when we um, <laughs> being rejected and don't feel bad, <clears throat> we go into our survival mind and, you know, we start frowning you know, like this. And uh, then your mind becomes like a fly. Mm -hmm. um, hate, anger, jealousy, fear, and clinginess. Mm -hmm. um, when you start frowning, you start attracting negative thought forms. They're coming to you. Mm -hmm. See it as an electrostatic charge. Mm -hmm. When you're smiling, you start attracting positive thought forms. At least you're not attracting negative thought forms. So, you know, so who doesn't, who is smiling after a breakup? <laughs> so, you know, once you start frowning, I mean, you will start going into your survival mind. You start opening up to the negativity around you and um, start thinking in a negative way. And now, most likely, you will be thinking about the other person. You know, that just shook your world. Mm -hmm. And start arguing with this man. So when you think about another person that you are courted with, like an ex-lover, they start thinking about you too. Maybe in the background of their mind. They may not be aware of it. You know, many people just doodling around, you know, while driving in their mind. They're not even paying much attention to what is going on. So they might be having an argument with you in their own mind, you know, while they're driving or at the job, you know, daydreaming, so to say, going back and forth. So most likely this will be going on, you know, where you're trying to defend your point of view, you know, while you're lovable or while the other one is wrong. Another principle coming into this, um, you know, into this negative mental talk, is the, um, you know, we fault find with the other to cover up our pain, you know, of being rejected. You know, yeah, the other one has a character flaw or was fat anyhow. You know, it's kind of like the story from the fox who couldn't reach the grapes and then said, well, you know, this was sour grapes anyhow, no big loss. Mm -hmm. So there will be this effect, 
you know, of um, counteracting this attachment with contemplating the negative <laughs> aspects of the other person, which of course also is painful. I mean, we liked that person at that time, you know, we loved that person at one time. And then, you know, dwelling on all the dark stuff, I mean, it makes nobody happy, right? We talked a little bit about cores mm -hmm. and how they affect us. So through cords, you know, the other one can feel us and we, we can feel the other ones. We feel them on the different energy levels. Of course, depending on how sensitive you are and they are. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, when you start thinking of the other one, you know, they start thinking of you telepathic cords, so they are around the head, maybe crown chakra. If you feel heart pain, probably they also feel heart pain, or a little bit of it, mm -hmm. vice versa. You know, many times we feel the pain of the other one, you know, of being separated from us in our heart. You know, it's not always our own pain we feel, you know, it's also maybe the other person's pain. Mm -hmm. Now, um, just hearing about these chords, you know, does not clear the heart pain or the melancholy or the depression that is bothering you right now. That is why we're gonna have this meditation here now. So, um, first of all, um, you know, accept only what resonates with you. Um, you have your own truth meter. <laughs> And, um, you know, reject what does not resonate with you. You know, um, you know, just go by your own experience and how it feels like. And not because the Wolfgang said so. I'm not your daddy, I'm not your guru. You know, I'm just a human being here. And also, this guided meditation is designed to space you out, put you into an altered consciousness, so absolutely no driving or operating heavy machinery and as you're there please give me a thumbs up you know and just do any type of comments it uh, helps with the algorithm and just help me on youtube to get out there <clears throat> now you might uh, want to uh, sit on an office chair for a higher energetic connection for staying awake Mm -hmm. Especially if you breathe strongly um, and keep your eyes closed and keep your tongue at the palate and smile, you will have a very good experience. But uh, many of um, us, you know, have a hard time going to sleep or, you know, want to use their time, you know, and perfectly maximize their time. So I recommend you lay down. You can even go um, into um, my channel and, you know, select a playlist and play the whole playlist overnight, of course, at a lower volume. Um, get a lot done like that. <clears throat> and uh, you will sleep well. Um, anyhow, when you lay down, um, you know, it's a good thing, you know, in to go to sleep like this. Um, it's better than not doing it, and maybe not as strong as um, doing it consciously and aware, but it's a good thing. And we also ask now that whatever comes, you know, from this guided meditation here, and what also happens in this guided meditation here, is for our highest good, and is also, you know, in divine harmony, with the whole and brings the most benevolent outcomes. Uh, you know, make sure you agree to this. And we also um, asked that, you know, this, what we're doing is going to have a maximum positive impact and brings us into the highest timelines. Um, And we ask now also that we be surrounded by a bubble of light and also our room or our place of residence is surrounded by a bubble of light that protects us from any dark energy that actually draws out any dark energies from us. 
Mm -hmm. And keeps us safe. Um, um, um. And now we ask our spirit guides and our high self to uh, please clear any sabotage and trauma from our rooting systems. I mean, some root chakra, foot chakras, earth star chakras, and the nadis and meridians. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please clear any attachments from them, trauma, entities, mm -hmm. spells, curses, implants like plates or nooses and rings, you know, certain astral visualization, even dark technologies from, you know, alien races. Uh, um, And smile, and keep your tongue at the palate at the very top, and imagine that you inhale earth love through your feet and root chakra all the way into the head and shoulders, and on the exhale you'll send your energies over root chakra and feet back into the earth. Breathe all the way in. And all the way out. Just like the ocean waves at the beach. All the way in. And all the way out. And you want to keep your mouth closed unless you're outside in fresh air. You want to breathe through your nose if you can. Now we asked that um, our most appropriate subterranean aspects connect us into the proper energy grids and ley lines and also balance our consciousness now. Um, Please bring us peace and balance. Thank you. And we asked Mother Earth to create a nice bubble around us, like a womb with her roots, that encases us with their love. And we asked for Mother Earth to also hook us into the elements. And we ask the Divine Devas of the Rose of the Lotus and Tulsi, Holy Basil, to be also around us and protect us. Um, Keep on smiling, keep on keeping the tongue at the palate. And now start breathing in, imagining a Milky Way galaxy above your head, kind of where your ceiling is. Pull that energy all the way into your body, into your arms, legs. And on the exhale, send your energy back to Milky Way galaxy. And we ask Milky Way Galaxy, this huge divine consciousness, to fill us with love and light and the latest updates, but to also clear any blocks and resistances and misalignment. Spells, curses, trauma, implants like dark technologies, um, you know, skull caps, plates, reverse crowns, crown of thorns, mm -hmm. all kinds of nasty things, also entity attachments, arconic attachments, and gene thought form attachments. Please find out when we want clear, continue to finish. Um, 
and yeah there's always a delay of five seconds and you know ah here we go it starts feeling clearer and lighter around the head more energy is coming in now Also, please clear any Jin programs and um, other spells and curses, sometimes even vows that block us from being healers, prophets, channelers, and you know, spiritual people, so to say. And make this a permanent change so the dark side cannot mess that up again. Amen, amen, amen. Keep on pulling in that love from the Milky Way galaxy, this huge mother. And we ask now that our stargates please be activated so we can have proper heavenly support, nourishment and information flow. Amen, amen, amen. And let's just do the yes and no induction. So a yes generally, um, you know, can be heard, maybe seen sometimes, or a feeling. I go by the feeling. So let's do that one right now. So a yes would feel like a, an energy flowing from the heart to the head, like an upper deep feeling. And we asked your high self to please show you a yes now. Amen. And a no is a feeling um, from an energy flow from the heart to the feet. It's kind of like a downer feeling, a negative feeling, I would say. Then we asked your high self to give you a clean, strong no now. Amen. Mm -hmm. Practicing this kind of discrimination throughout your life is a good tool. You know, some people call it the gut feeling. Well, this is kind of the heart feeling. You know, of course, this can also be applied to the gut. How does the gut feel about it? Happy or unhappy? <laughs> Expansive or not? All right. And now, you know, pick the one, you know, that you broke up with or that broke up with you, that your heart is bleeding now. Let's do the whole session now for that one person. Okay, so let's hope we did your pick. And now we are address, you know, your highest self that you can communicate with right now. Your consciousness, you know, has different level and there is a divine level, which we call the highest self or the high self. Uh -huh. So we address this one now. And... What was your lesson with this X, please? And did we learn that lesson? Yes or no? And what it is that we did not learn. Now, when we break up with this person, are we done karma-wise? Yes or no? Is there are lots more karma. Yes or no? Mm. 
you may have doubts so can this relationship be fixed for the highest good yes or no or is it time to move on for the highest good yes or no Did you have a past lifetime with this person? Yes or no? Was it more than one lifetime? Yes or no? How many lifetimes? Are some of those lifetimes still stuck in the lower astral as discarnates? Yes or no? And how are they affecting you and your life? Did you promise each other to always be together? Did you get separated in that past lifetimes against your will? Did you leave each other, yes or no? Was there betrayal in one of those past lifetime relationships, yes or no? Were curses done due to the betrayal, yes or no? Was your relationship with the other considered inappropriate at that time? Yes or no? Did you get caught? Yes or no? Did your relationship get cursed by others' envy or other motivations? Yes or no? Were spells, bindings and glamours used between you to attract to each other, yes or no? And what type of vows and promises or contracts did you make to each other that are still affecting you in this lifetime? Did you hurt each other in that lifetime? How bad was it? Was there murder? Yes or no? Was there hate? Yes or no? Was there actually formal cursing and black magic done? Yes or no? Now this um, coming one is probably a little weird and on the strange side, but um, you know, this has happened before. 
Did you sacrifice the other one in another lifetime? Yes or no? Did the other one sacrifice you in another lifetime? Yes or no? And did you make vows of subservience to the other? Yes or no? Did you give up your power to the other in past lifetimes? Yes or no? Did you make vows of always supporting the other one in another lifetime? Yes or no? Did you make a vow to always protect the other one in another lifetime? Yes or no? Was your relationship set up by some higher dimensional beings? You know, like the alien love bite concept or the arrow of Cupid? Yes or no? And this has been done quite a lot for breeding purposes and just to keep people enveloped in drama, you know, the so-called scientific experiments. Mm -hmm. Anyhow. Are you and your ex of the same soul group, like Akanis, you know, always traveling together into situations, yes or no? Are you and the other one mm -hmm, of the same soul, yes or no? So this would be a twin flame then. Mm -hmm. So let's ask, is the other one actually a twin flame of yours? Yes or no? And is this twin flame the one and all for you to spend the rest of your life with? Yes or no? Or is this twin flame like a stepping stone, you know, just helping you in another step of your evolution, yes or no? Now, did you know your ex in other than human lifetimes, yes or no? And uh, were this Atlantean lifetimes? Yes or no? Were this subterranean races like the Nagas? Yes or no? Was it what's considered Anunnaki? Yes or no? And let's just keep it at that. <laughs> and are there still energetic cords connecting you at the root chakra that are not good for you? Yes or no? And then please show us how it looks and feel like right now. Amen.
and how much percent of our sexual life force is taken through this cord. Amen. And how does this cord affect you? And are you also something getting out of this? Are you ready to let go of this cord now? And we asked High Self and Spirit Guides to dissolve this energetic cord now. And please make this as permanent as possible. And please also return all energies back to their original owners now. Um, make sure you agree to this. Are there any energetic cords connecting you still on the sacral chakra? Yes or no? And please show us how this looks and feels like now. Amen. And how much of your life force is taken through this core. And how does this cord affect you? Are you also getting anything out of this? And are you ready to let go of this cord now? And we asked High Self and Spirit Guides to dissolve this energetic cord now. And to make this a permanent change if possible. And please also return all energies back to their original owners now. Amen, Amen, Amen. And smile and breathe deeply from your heart. Hmm? Uh, it should be kicking in now and you start feeling lighter and lighter. Mm -hmm. And let's ask your higher guidance. Are there energetic cords connecting you still on the solar plexus chakra level? Yes or no? And dear High Self, please show us how this looks and feels like now. Amen. And how much of your life force is taken through this cord? And how does that cord affect you? Is anger being transferred through this cord? Yes or no? Are uh, you also getting anything out of this? Yes or no? And are you ready to let go of this cord now? Yes or no? And we asked High Self and Spirit Guides to dissolve this energetic cord now and to make it as permanent as possible and to return all energies back to their original owners now. Amen. Um, 
Are the energetic cords still connecting you on the heart chakra level? Yes or no? And dear high self, please show us how this looks and feels like now. Amen. And how much of your life force is taken through this cord? And how does this cord on the heart chakra level affect you? Are you also getting anything out of this, yes or no? And what is it that you're getting out of that? And are you ready to let go of this cord now? Yes or no? And we asked High Self and Spirit Guides to dissolve this energetic cord and to make it as permanent as possible and return all energies back to their original owners now, of course, after purification. Amen. And while this is going on, are there energetic cords connecting you still on the throat chakra level with your ex? Yes or no? And then show us how this looks and feels like now. Amen. And how much of your life force is taken through this cord? And how does this cord affect you and your daily life? And are you also getting anything out of this? And of course, what is it? And are you ready to let go of this cord now? Yes or no? And we asked High Self and Spirit Guides to please dissolve this energetic core. To make it as permanent as possible. And to return all energies back to their original owners now. Amen. And while those processes are still going on, are there energetic cords connecting you to your Xbox still on the third eye level? Yes or no? And dear High Self, please show us now how this looks and feels like so we can detect it later on better. Show me now, Amen. And how much of your life force is taken through this cord? A lot or just little? How does this cord affect your thought processes in your current life? Are you also getting anything out of this?
Well, are you ready to let go of this cord now? Okay, so we asked High Self and Spirit Guides to dissolve this energetic cord of our third eye, to give it back and to make it as permanent as possible and to return all energies after purification back to their original owners now. Amen, Amen, Amen. So please agree. And while this is going on, are there energetic codes connecting you still on the crown chakra level? Yes or no? And dear High Self, please show us how this looks and feels like so we can detect any presence there right now. Amen. Are we losing any life force through this cord and how much is taken from us? Please show us now. Amen. And how does this crown chakra cording affect you in this life? Please show us now. Amen. And are you also getting anything out of this? Please show us now. Amen. And are you ready to let go of this cord now? Yes or no? And we ask High Self and Spirit Guides to please dissolve this energetic cords on the Crown Chakra levels. There could be several. And to make it as permanent as possible. And after purifying the energy, return all energies back to their original owners. Amen. And please continue to finish. Amen. And also spin out everything in the life and light affirming direction and clear any intrusions from false light realities and shadow realms all the way to the highest soul aspects and also clear our ancestral bodies. Amen, Amen, Amen. And we ask for healing and updates of our high self aspects as well as for our spirit guides. And also please clear any entities that have attached to our trauma, to our wounds, through curses, implants, and other ways. Now, Amen, Amen, Amen. Also please clear any dark force sabotage and vows, you know, to disempower us, also clear any binding devices, contracts, technologies and artificial intelligence influences and interferences that can be cleared now without us having to personally witness the details. Amen, Amen, Amen. And also, um, please clear any karmic residues and leftovers that are stuck anywhere in our planetary or personal light body systems, you know, ancestors, and throughout space and time, and open and guard the portals through which we can receive our support, strength, and guidance. Amen. Amen. Amen.
And also please start liberating my soul fragments that are still stuck in creation, especially the ones on the dark side, and um, bring our energies that have been scattered or taken back to us and integrate and ground us fully back into our bodies. Of course, everything for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. Make sure you agree, not your head, smile, deep breathing, smile like an idiot. Mm -hmm. And now um, we ask that our heart on the inhale be filled with love. And on the exhale you send this love into the right leg now. And now again you fill your heart with love. And you bring it, breathe it into your left leg now, as if you're blowing up a huge balloon. And another inhale and pulling all the love that's available for you from the universe. Pull it into your heart. And on the exhale, send it into your right arm, all the way into the fingertips. And on the next inhale, feel yourself to the brim with the love from around you. And on the exhale, compact it into your left arm. And one more, pull that love into you, into your heart. And then send it up your spine, all the way out the top of the head. Smile like an idiot. <laughs> and now we also ask our spirit guides and high self to fill all the organs, you know, of our body with love the brain, all the different glands, our eyes, the hearing apparatus, our teeth, our throat, with the glands in there, our chest cavity, the lungs, the heart, the lymph systems, the spine all the way down. Oh, mm -hmm. and then you know, um, our diaphragm with love and light. It's huge muscle. And then all the intestines, then the small ones, the big ones. It's a huge battery. And fill the liver mm -hmm, with love and light. Clear any imbalances in the liver and gallbladder meridians. Oh, that feels good. Make sure you smile. <laughs> you ask for heavenly vacuum cleaners and to pull out the dark chi that's coming out of you now. Amen. And now on, push that love to the left side. Ah. <sighs> And now we'll start pushing the love into the spleen and pancreas, you know, on the left, opposite the liver. It's kind of where your ribs end. Mm -hmm. Deep breathing, smile like an idiot, pump it, pump it, pump the jam, pump the jam, right? <sighs> and now, um, you know, still keep feeling your heart this love on every detail. Now send it into your kidneys. Hmm? They're kind of where your ribs end. They might just slightly overlap and slightly hidden under the ribs. Probably half sticking up. Mm -hmm. And then send some nice love into your pelvic area. Mm, those muscles in the lower back, they really need it then. 
and then into your bladder and you know your genitalia, whatever you prefer. And then down the legs, all the way into the toes and heels. Appreciate them, you know. Without your feet and legs, you'd be stuck. <laughs> we tell the whole body that we love it, and we want it to integrate with our spirit, you know, seamlessness. Perfect, smooth. Amen, amen, amen. We ask the spirit guides and high self and source to update everything with us to the latest code to harmonize, bring to optimal energy levels and put up the latest protections. Amen. And one, two, three. If you are sitting, you're going to be awake. If you are sleeping, you're going to have healing dreams. Amen. And welcome back, my friends. I hope you had a good time. <laughs> Running love, that's where it's at. Right. So please give me a thumbs up and if you had any cool experiences, share them with all of us. You know, any comment will help. And make sure you subscribe and you know watch the other videos. You know, on my channel, you know, there's about three hundred of them. Drink a lot of water. I love you a long time. Namaste.